This is a Marlin 336, and this one's in 3030, which is like your all around hunting rifle. Um, we're gonna take a quick look, see how to do a miniature takedown on this. We won't do a complete takedown. We'll do a complete disassembly. It's just a partial disassembly. We'll go through a, a good way to clean it. And we'll put it all back together. First things first is we're gonna obviously if your gun's gonna be empty only a fool will try to clean a loaded gun right so we made sure we're empty we're gonna put this about halfway close we're gonna close that bolt about maybe halfway maybe a little bit farther than halfway we'll leave that lever hanging down um, we're gonna find an appropriately sized screwdriver bit and by appropriately sized I mean it's gonna be snug in that screw head so when you have the right size bit we put it in that in that screw head. That's a good indication we got a pretty good we got a pretty good fit. We don't want that screw wobbling around and buggering up our screw head. So we we have this lever. There's our pivot screw. We're gonna take that screw out. Just gonna back this right out. This is the screw that the lever pivots on. This it's gonna be the key to disassembly. So we got the screw out. Now this bolt is about maybe halfway open. Just gonna slide that lever right out once that screw's out. There, our lever's out. All right, and as you can see, see some shiny spots? That's where we wanna be lubricating this. The shiny spots are a good indication of wear and where two metal parts are rubbing together. And we make sure we get a little bit of lubrication on that when we go to put it all back together. All right, once that lever's out, we can take our bolt and just pull it straight on back all the way out the back of the rifle. Look at that, come straight out. There's our bolt. We can take a look at the bolt face, the sides, we get this cleaned and lubed. We see our extractor on there. Our next step, we've got the, it's a, this is a magnetic, it's a magnetic pickup tool, you know, those telescoping, only we don't really don't need it to telescope. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, ejector out. Just gonna touch it to the ejector and just pull that right out. There we go. There's our two piece ejector, came, came right out. All right, so we've, got a pretty good chunk of this disassembled. Um, one more thing we do, there's a, a screw back here on the tang. We're going to take that screw out next. If you feel that one break free. All right, so we'll just remove this one. This is kind of a, this is a longer, longer screw because it goes all the way from the top of the tang down to the bottom right there behind the, uh, where the lever is. There we go. We'll take that out, set that aside. Now this whole rear stock will just slide right off. All right, so now you can see we've got access to our, our, our main spring and here's, here's our hammer and trigger. Um, you don't need to do this on just a regular cleaning, but I'll show you how to take this, how to take this, uh, this main spring off. And it's probably the most complicated thing about disassembling the entire rifle. All right, let's take this, this main spring out. And what we're gonna do is we have that, 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 that grip safety, that lever safety, we'll push that in, we'll pull the trigger, we'll let this hammer down. That's gonna take all the, all the spring tension off of there, or most of it. And now we're just gonna push, push this little, this little J-shaped metal piece here, we're just gonna push this off to the side. And that'll just push right out. And we'll let that spring off. We'll capture that with our fingers. So now we've got that main spring or that, that hammer spring we have that retaining piece. Now, if we want to get into that hammer, we have that, that hammer is now freed up. We still have that, that grip safety in place. But now we've got that hammer free up. If we need to get into here, we can remove the hammer very easy with this, with this screw. Um, but for now, I don't think we're gonna do that. We'll just keep the hammer down. That's gonna give us access to that, to cleaning it from the, from the rear. Now getting this thing back on, as you can imagine, takes a little bit of work because we have to compress this spring back and kind of wedge this back in place. What you'll see, you'll see this little, this little groove here. That's where that little J-shaped piece is, 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 is retained. It's gonna sit in that groove and it's gonna stay up in that, like that. So we'll put the spring on. This is, you'll watch me wrestle with this, but it's not, 
like I said before, this is probably one of the most difficult parts of the disassembly, and that you really didn't need to go this far. Okay. All right, now, I'm just gonna wedge that into there. Get it into that little channel. There we go. And now it's just a matter of pushing that spring down, compress the spring, and that'll pop into place. So now we've got it back. Just a matter of centering it. We'll get it centered there in that lower tang. If it's off to one side, you won't be able to get the stock back on. But we'll get that centered. Now we're now we're all we're all set. We can cock that. Now we've got that hammer under tension there. We'll let that down. There we go. All right. That wasn't so bad. Like I said, that's probably the hardest procedure in the whole assembly process. We've got that that main spring in place. We'll just put that stock back on. We'll set our screw in. Make sure your screwdriver is in the center of that screw so it's not sticking out one side so you don't scratch the, the metal around the edge of that screw. We don't want to scratch the tang up. Ideally, when you take a gun apart and you put it back together, you shouldn't be able to tell it was ever apart. The screws won't be all buggered up and there won't be scratch marks. We'll get it all put back together so it looks, looks like it did before we got here. All right. Let's go ahead and put that ejector back in place. We got this all cleaned up and put a little bit of lube on there. Let's see. I'm going to take a picture so you can see that little, little round peg and the little round right, hole. So let's put this ejector back in. I put just a tiny little bit of grease right around that little round peg. We'll put the round peg in the round hole. Just going to guide it in. There's a little channel, a little canal that it goes into. Just going to push it and you'll feel it kind of fall into place. That round peg will go right in that round hole. And once that's in place, then we can go ahead and put the bolt in. And that bolt just goes in the same way we took it out. I put just a tiny little film of grease on there just where the shiny spots were. We'll just run that bolt in. And if we look on that back side, you'll see that round peg is in the round hole, so we know we got our ejector in, right? We'll push that bolt in. Remember, just, just past halfway, just like where we had it for our disassembly. Let's go ahead and take our lever. We'll make sure our, le our lever engages with the bolt. And we'll drop that pin, put just a tiny little bit of lube on that pin so where the lever pivots we'll get that in there and we'll see that okay we got our our bolt captured now we'll just tighten this down but we've got it all put back together we've got that little bit of lube on there that little bit of grease on that on the bolt look at that how smooth that is all cleaned, all lubed, all put back together. No problem at all.